Hi, I know there's already a million videos on there on how to do slap bass, and that's cool. Uh, these are just some things that helped me like 20 years ago when I started learning how to play. So hopefully they might help some of you guys. Uh, slap bass isn't that hard. It's really pretty easy to do. It's just hard to figure out what to play. You can break down about 90% uh, of all the slap and pop stuff uh, just down to patterns of two, three, and four notes. And it's basically two motions you make with your right hand, two different things that you do with your left. Start with the right hand. It's going to be the thumb and the pluck. Okay, for the first thing, on your right hand, for your thumb, it's a rotary motion. You're not trying to bring your whole forearm down. You're just rotating at the wrist. Keep your fingers loose. And the feeling is kind of like you're trying to just shake water off of your hands. So keep everything really relaxed. Like that. For popping the strings, it's, again, you're going to be lifting your wrist up more so than bringing your whole arm up. Again, for your left hand, you want to think when you're muting notes is to kind of keep a little bit of a circular motion to where your hand is kind of pivoting off of your thumb here. See how everything moves around here? And when you're... Again, that's exaggerated in the motion, but you don't want to try and keep everything really rigid and trying to clamp down because you're not going to get the sound very well that way. Okay, when you're going to put them together, it's basically four movements. Now I'm going to count them out and just number them one to four. It's not the beat, it's just the, the motion that you're doing. Number one is the thumb. Number two is on the other hand where you're going to mute the note. So you have one, two, one, two, 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 two like that. Okay, three and four is all with the right hand. Uh, a lot of times people will hit with their thumb and then pluck with their finger, but it's even easier sometimes to make it one smooth motion, be efficient with it. Three, which is just this, you putting your finger underneath the string to pop it for number four. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, like that. So you put them together and you get this. All right, let's start putting uh, a pattern of four together. We'll use number one. Two, three, and four. Okay, one more time. That's your right hand for one, two on the left to, to mute it, three to get your hand ready to pluck for number four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, now what's cool about that is once you get this pattern of four down, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, you can use just that three and four, this part, to extend it like this. One, two, three, four, three, four, three, four. Listen to it without me counting. Here's where this is cool. You can now change and add notes. Okay, now that you got that pattern of four, let's look at some of the different things you can do with your left hand. You can start by hammering on some notes instead of ghosting. We've been doing this. Now let's try and hammer some on with the left hand. If you start on the second fret on the A string, which is B, and you hammer on the C sharp, and then play the octave E, like this. Now combine the two, the muted and the hammer on, like this. Okay. This is where uh, the three and four thing comes in handy. Watch. See how we put those two together? Again, if we put them together like this. Then you can extend it, carry it on as long as you want to. Then, if you want, you can start putting them together something like this. Okay. 